Hi, this is Jim's Little Boat. I'm Jim. This is my buddy Marlon. He's going to be the helmsman today. It's not blowing very hard, but we're going to show you how to throw a reef in this boat. You old timers won't need to know this, but a beginner might find it useful. To get us started on this reefing maneuver, I'm going to take up on the topping lift and raise the boom up just a little bit to take some pressure off the sail. Before we let Marlin go ahead and reef that sail, I need to interrupt and explain the difference between single line reefing and double line reefing and why I changed over from the single line to using two lines instead. Originally, I bought the single line reefing kit from Catalina Direct and uh, I installed it. Let me explain how it works. First of all, this reefing line attaches to the opposite side of the boom. And then it comes up to this uh, kringle, which is the reef clue. Then it comes down to a turning block. And then it goes along the mast. And you really need to add a fair lead there, otherwise it'll droop all the time. And then it goes to a turning block here at the end of the boom. And then there's a hook up here that goes into the reef tack. And of course, there's friction in the tack. And then it comes down, and they don't tell you this, but you really need a fair lead there on the mast. And then on my boat, it came down to a turning block at the bottom of the mast, came over to the deck organizer, turning block, and back. And so you ended up with eight points of friction. That was a problem. If the wind was light, you could overcome all that friction, and you could go ahead and reef. But... Once the wind picked up and there was some pressure on the sail, it was just a son of a gun to overcome those eight points of friction and go ahead and reef. So I just took all the components I bought from Catalina and I changed them over to two lines of reefing. Let me show you what that looks like. To change to two lines of reefing, I left this part all the same. Attached to the far side of the boom, up through the uh, clue on the reef point, and down to one turning block and to a cleat. So you ended up with only two points of friction there. Then I took the forward line and uh, I attached it to the hook that went into the reef tack, came down through one fair lead to a turning block, and then actually there was another turning block, and back. So then we ended up there with three points of friction. Five points of friction in all, but divided into two into three. And it was just a lot easier to reef once the wind piped up a little And bit. the biggest bonus of all was I could still reef it by myself and never leave the cockpit. After that, we'll come over here and we'll let the main down and we'll take up on the reef line. And once we get the sail down and we get the uh, reefed tack down nice and tight, then we'll deal with the boom. All right, Marlon's gonna reef for us. So Marlon, first thing I want you to do is I want you to make sure that the topping lift is holding the boom up and we're okay there, don't worry about it. So now I want you to release the main and lower that down, the main halyard, perfect, and let that down as you pull in with your other hand on the reefing line. Tighter on the main right there for the moment. Okay, now tighten up on that reefing line. Oh, it was caught. Oh, okay. It's free now. So that was not Marlin's fault. That was mine. I forgot to take the sail slug out. Good. Tighten up the reefing line. Perfect. Just clean it off. You're, per you're there. A lot of strength, man. You overcame my screw up. Okay, now take the reef, the uh, main halyard, and tighten that back up as tight as it'll go. Perfect. Clean it. Alrighty, now you got this blue and white line on the boom. I want you to pull that. Alrighty, Marlon, you got a hold of the reefing line. Tighten that up until the clue tightens up. And when you're all the way down, I'll change places and get a picture of it. Excellent, you are there. Cleat it. You'll have to tie that cleat. Marlon got it down. The reef clue is all tight and tucked in. Now we may or may not use the reef points and go ahead and tidy up the sail, but we may just let it hang because we might want to shake it out. So we got the main reef down and ready. Now at the moment, there's really not enough wind to justify this, nor is there enough wind to justify this little blade of a storm jib. But look what's coming. That wall of water is going to bring some wind with it. And uh, I think that we're going to have quite a ride so I'll, I think I'll be glad we reefed 
and it's a whole lot easier to shake that reef out than it is to put it in. So Marlin tugged and tugged and that sail didn't want to come down uh, past a certain point and that wasn't his fault. That was all my fault. I have that stopper in the track and the slugs hit that and I had forgotten to lower it down below the mast gate so the sail would just come right on down. So he's so young and strong he just went ahead and jerked on it and it came down and it didn't do any damage.